Hello everybody and welcome back to the Call of Cthulhu. I am the Chaotic Neutral Gamer. And we are now in the Hawkins Mansion trying to figure out what might have caused the death of the Hawkins family. So far we haven't seen any uh, any of Lovecraft's famous stuff. Mm -hmm. The famous uh, cosmic horrors or whatever. Places. Uh, since the fire of the Hawkins Mansion, the dining room has remained intact. The setting allows the place occupied by the family to be see, to be determined. Visibly, etiquette was respected even in the, even in private. Charles Hawkins sat at the head of the table with his wife and son on either side. So the knocked over chair it so could have been, so could have be could be done to something after something that happened after the fire or could it confirm the theory that of a domestic argument clearly the roast was untouched in certain in certain plates the meat mysteriously preserved since see, since then seems to have been the subject of the dispute between the couple see between the couple smashed oil lamp according to the police report the lamp is the lamp is the cause of the accidental fire that was destroyed that destroyed the mansion however blood stains on the debris tell a different story the glass on this heavy clock is broken and the hands show 10 o'clock it could give the time of the fire or have nothing to do with it a partially burned shoe, it seemed to belong to Sarah. Contradicting the police report, the Hawkins drawing room tells a different say a different version of the fire that claimed the full the whole family, beginning with the presence of a handprint that throws up the possibility of a survivor. The bodies of Charles and Sarah Hawkins left no mark on the floor, nor say nor to that matter in the drawing room. Contrary to that of the child, still visibly close to the fireplace. The same goes for the glass shards on the floor. A close inspection reveals the presence of blood on several of them. On the wall, a very clear mark left by the painting found in the Hawkins warehouse confirms that Haw the Hawkins case could be much more than a domestic accident. These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? That's a good question. Also, where did the... Where did the... Where did, off, where did the officer go? Seriously, where did he go? He, like, just vanished. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Oh, he's in here. Music! The fuck you hinting at? Hmm. Moby Dick. Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. 
Well, that's kind of a waste. Like, why in the world would you keep a piano around and not use it? Beautiful music. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Probably where they got the name of the boat. <clears throat> what could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? <coughs> Dear sir, as you know, I have always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, again, she last week she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to reoccur, believe me, believe me that, although it would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Yours truly, Anton Woolard. Fuck did I just see? I swore, I swear there was a fucking thing right here. Like, standing in the doorway. Either standing or there was something. I'll need to look at that and post. I'll need to look at that and post because, my god. That actually kind of spooked me for a second there. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. I can't open that door. Interesting. It's a massive fucking library. I don't want to go through there. Like, I'm actually kind of hesitant from what I saw. Oh, well, I guess into the bowels. Here I go. That's a rat. That vanished. Locked. Anything in here? The boy's room. Before I go into investigation. The argument that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering for some time. Simon's private journal. He seemed worried about his mother and her attacks. Tension also seemed to be growing between the Hawkins couple. I could barely make out any of it. If I do anything, investigation mode. Uh, 
let's see what I can find. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. What the fuck could have terrified him, though? What was going through that boy's mind? Bubbles also knocked over. Can I get in here. What will her room reveal about her? Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Barbiturates? I don't know what that actually is. What the fuck? Okay, things just went from strange. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Yeah, things just went from strange to absolutely fucking bizarre. Real goddamn Despite quick. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Fate brought us together, and forever, then forever it will bind us. I need to, I'll need to check on it. Okay, I'm still in, I'm still sane. Okay, let's review. Barbiturates, they act as a depressant of the nervous system, but once you begin, you can never live without them. Of that, I know something. Locked. Okay, but you're not gonna say anything. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve?
Our cultism is still a zero percent. Bradley? Is that you? The fuck was that? Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Please reveal yourself and <coughs> not jump scare me later. What the fuck? Okay, that's bizarre. See which way he went. Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. You were right. A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. I'll cover you. This door Wait. was closed earlier. Yeah, I couldn't even get through this door. I Where tried. Four CP. So I can actually increase my stats a bit. Seems like this came from a log. 42, uh, 42 North, 70 West, Darkwater Island. We sailed north all morning. Th Captain Hamlet is confident. He says well, that will beat the orifice this season. May God be merciful. Uh, I preferred... I preferred it when the whales disappeared without a trace. With these carcasses, we can no longer ignore their sad fate. What is easy? What is eating these huge beasts? So I told Hamilton. So I told Hamilton that that it was a bad omen. He doesn't care. We dropped anchor. Da -da. The inhabitants say that the waters are red with the blood of the sacred beasts, and to follow them is to defy the gods. I told them that I only feared God Almighty, but in the loneliness of the hold, I'm scared. We have sighted a huge whale in the distance, in size it seemed to be beyond anything known to man. It sends out an infernal song. Hamilton wants it. He said, we've caught it. It's the most grotesque whale I've ever laid eyes upon. It will go into memory as the biggest catch ever. The miracle catch, apparently. Men have died, but we've gained glory. This day will be celebrated for years to come. Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't this see any This globe doubt. seems to have been part of some mechanism.
Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Let's see. 42 North, 70 West. Uh, let's try that. Doesn't work. Oh. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. I feel like actually looking this up because this puzzle is actually kind of confusing me. I'd be better off not touching. Let's ask him. Have you seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left Darkwater shore for years. Maybe he kept them for sentimental reasons. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Doesn't work. I must have missed something. <laughs> Doesn't work. I must have missed something. <laughs> Doesn't work. I must have missed something. There we go. Looks like it worked. Well done, Pierce. Thank you. It took me a second to figure out. Plus, it's hard to tell which so where they're supposed to be like pointing because there's no exact numbers and whatnot on the mass on the globe. But I got it eventually. Secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. Honestly, that kind of is. Far. Yeah, and he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. Three seats. Look, someone's been here recently. Uh, time for recreation. A reconstruction. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? What is this mask supposed to represent? It's Cthulhu, my dude. Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here. He didn't want it in his house.
This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Sarah Hawkins. Was she hiding from someone? What am I supposed to look at? What is this game wanting me to look at? Whoever was sitting here could have seen Sarah Hawkins. Could this be related to her death? Padlock is too complicated for me. Oh, that goes pretty deep. I think we're supposed to go all the way down, but I'm curious. Yes. Where are you going? I can't keep up with you in this darkness. Are you scared? I want to see how far these steps go. Who's talking about being scared? I'll wait for you by the door. Oh no. Oh, if that's murky water, no, fuck that noise. <laughs> Fine, I'll wade through it. Only because I'm curious. Morbidly curious. In this volume, there's a mention of beliefs of the lost tribe. They worshipped an entity that spoke to them in their sleep. The whole tribe seemingly disappeared in a mass sacrifice to the glory of their deity. Sad way to go. These paintings must be several centuries old. This monstrous creature must be an allegory. These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? I don't know, my dude. These buildings seem to have come out of the water. The city of Relay! We've done it. I don't know how far this goes, but fuck it. Um, fuck it, going in balls deep. There you are again. Well done, Pierce. And it looks like you found our fugitive. 
This door is securely shut. I'll look for another passage. It's an underground cave. We can advance this side. Yeah, I can see that. You, uh... Please excuse me, but given your condition, I'll stick to my idea. I'm not cut out for this kind of acrobatics. All right. Look for another entrance. I'll try to catch up with our man. Something tells me... Something tells me that uh, that guy's about to die. These structures. The fuck is that shit down there? I don't have time to search them all. The fuck is this stuff? It looks like animal oil. It's certainly not whale. How could you say that looks like animal oil? It's fucking green and glowing. What's going on here? Piers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. God. What have you got me into? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, I, I, there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Time to do a sneaky snake. I'm staying low to the ground. The fuck? A mass grave. What the fuck? I got it. Okay. I can't breathe. It is time. You will soon be one of us, if your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream.
seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. Oh, what the fuck? I can't read Latin. Oh, shit. Well, uh, I'm actually gonna call it here, guys. Um... I was pretty much right. Things went tits up real fucking quick. Um, yeah, no. I'm just gonna be right over here. <laughs> Till everything just calms down. So I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>